Today we're back at FrameCAD where we're going to be putting up the steel frame of our tiny house. This is a really exciting day for us because no longer will it just be looking like a trailer, it's going to actually start resembling a real house. G'day Kyle. Hey Bryce. How's it going mate? Good thanks, and you? Good, exciting times, eh? Watching the frame go up today? Yeah, it is. It's about time. It's uh, been a long journey to get here, but um, yeah, we, we're pretty excited. Awesome. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what's happening. Yeah. So, right now the boys are just um, finishing off the, the last two walls, the last two side walls. Yep. Um, these are the most complex walls. It's a lot of bracing and a lot of stiffness in it to carry, obviously, the, um, the bed, uh, bed level right. and also the storage level. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, you, you've seen our system before and it's, it's going together really, really quickly. Absolutely. So for putting together all of the frames for a, a house around the, the size that ours is, how long does that process take all up? Uh, it's, it all depends on the complexity of the wall. Like this one that we're doing now is quite complex. Um, so it's probably about 15 minutes, whereas um, walls that are simpler with less nogs and studs can take five to 10 minutes. Right. Okay. Um, so for a, a unit like yours, uh, from start to finish, you're probably looking at uh, three to four hours from us sending it to the machine, uh, pumping the steel out of the out of the machine and actually assembling it. Yeah. So it's a really quick process, really. Yeah, it is. It is. So that's that's what attracts people to it is the fact that um, they can come to us, they can have a plan, they can come and watch it being assembled like you guys are now. And so normally when people order a frame from you, does it come pre-assembled? Or would it be flat packed and shipped out to them? It's 90% um, of the time it is uh, pre-assembled, so right. we'll assemble it in here. Uh, the only time we would send flat pack is if it's in um, places that have um, tight access or if we are exporting product, then it will be all flat pack. But uh, again, if we send something that is flat pack, it's very simple to put together and just follow a, a basic diagram. Um, and once you've, once you've done one wall, you, you get to know the system and the guys can just follow that and assemble the rest of the framing. Yep. It's so exciting for us now to actually be watching all of this framing come together. And for the first time, we can actually start to see elements of the house that we've only ever seen on paper before actually start to materialize. Like this here. This is our door. It's, it's hard to actually explain the feeling of starting to see your house really for the first time, but every time we come home, we're going to be walking through that gap right there. And our, our kitchen window. So every time we're making a cup of coffee on the stove, we'll be looking out that window right there. There's something just so special about knowing that. Starting to feel like home already. Well, it's very noisy. That's the first impression. But otherwise, very, very interesting to see how fast they work, how quickly it comes together. Seeing these walls lying around here just as they are supposed to be, uh, seeing them on the plan. So it's all a very good impression. And uh, also the idea that the whole house will be put together in a few hours. And then we can see the results. That's quite neat. He's on drop it. <laughs> One shiny frame. Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. It's not, it's not permanent. Okay, push the forward. What's the back wall, my bad? Oh, what's that? Oh, seven. Seven. Back one there. So what we're doing first is we've got all of the 
different walls that have come out and have been assembled as complete sets. Now what we're doing is we're starting just to fix them to the trailer, just using temporary fixes at this point. We're going to square up all of the walls, make sure everything's fitting together really well, and then everything gets properly secured in place after that. So exciting! Yeah, <laughs> yes, I can stand up inside. Not that I was nervous about that or anything. Bathroom window. It's so cool to actually be able to look at everything and really get a feel for the space and what it's actually going to be like living in this thing. You just, you can look at plans all day long and not really get a feeling for the space, but yeah, just being able to walk through it like this is awesome. These are multi-fix brackets, they're used for uh, multi-purpose, but at this stage we're using them in turn of H brackets. Uh, it's just to hold the truss in place so it doesn't go slipping down and it connects all three points, like um, the top plate, uh, the face of the stud and the truss that comes down on top of it. And there it is, our fully framed tiny house. It's actually really amazing how fast and efficiently the whole frame has gone up. And that's really a testament to the efficiency of steel. In our next video, we're actually going to be looking at some of the fastenings that we're using to secure the frame to the trailer and also keep it safe when it's traveling. Make sure you check it out.